Yo, what's going on, y'all? I hope y'all doing good today. Hope y'all feeling blessed. Uh, you know, I, you seen the title of the video. I know y'all seen it. It's a little bit different. I don't really make videos like this, though, man. I, I kind of want to get my thoughts out about it. Um, you know, it's in regards to the actor Charlie Wright. He just uploaded a video talking about his experiences um, dealing with uh, uh, the situation of playing Roger and how it became like this big meme, right? And everybody was like, no, not my Roger. We're not fucking with bro. Get him out of here. He doesn't look like Devin Bostick. That's the canon character. Even though the canon character is a straight on fucking stick figure. I don't know what actor in the world is supposed to look like a stick figure. Tell me the guy that looks like this guy. Tell me the guy that looks like that guy. I'm gonna put him right here. Tell me the guy that looks like this guy. And then then tell go find you a studio and go make the movie a damn stuff and go find that guy and go ahead and record your damn Roger Rules movie or your long haul movie, right? But anyways, man, I really felt bad for the brother, man. Um, because, man, you don't really think about it, but, you know, it, it's just terrible. It's terrible, man. And uh, we can't just trash people, like, to the extent he got trashed for stuff like this, right? Um, it's just wrong, you know? And I get it. Diary of a Wimpy Kid is fucking awesome. I was a big Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan growing up. You know, I remember reading the book for the first time, like, fourth, fifth grade, and I was, like, mind-blown. I was like, yo, like... Books are supposed to be freaking boring and intellectual. Like, this shit is, like, relatable as hell, right? Like, Jeff Kinney just spoke to the freaking soul of all 10 to 12-year-olds across America, man, and all over the world, right? I feel like I was reading out my own damn diary, right? So, the shit is legendary. It's impactful. It's a whole book series. I'm pretty sure he's still making books to this damn day. It's just a legendary franchise, right? It's really, I mean, it turned into a freaking movie, not only a movie, it turned into a whole on a full ass trilogy, dog. That shit was so like if a movie gets turned into a if a book gets turned into a movie, that's one thing. But into a whole trilogy, that's how you know that shit was the shit, man. It had some impact, right? And I get it, right? You're passionate about Dire of Wimpy Kid. Why else would you guys make this huge uproar? Like y'all y'all was really passionate about Dire of Wimpy Kid, right? Because man, the whole internet was going crazy over this shit, right? Like Man, to this, and we're older. Like, those last Dark Ruby Kid movies came out, what, five, six years before that? We're all older now, right? 2017, I was 17 years old, right? So I'm a little bit older. I'm not too in touch with the Dark Ruby Kid world no more, right? They got us reading some other bullshit in high school. So, you know, it is what it is, right? Does it really affect us that much? No. Were we really going to all go line up and, and buy movie tickets and a gallon bucket of popcorn to go watch the Dark Ruby Kid long haul movie? Probably not. That's because the movie wasn't made for us, man. It's made for the next generation. They have to reboot it. They have to restart. Can't bring back, you know, uh, Zachary Gordon. Dude's old as shit now. But you want a guy with a full beard and a very white voice to be playing Greg Heffley still? I mean, they have to restart. It's a new generation. They're probably, and like the dude said, Charlie, uh, Charles or Charlie Wright, they're going to make a whole other trilogy, right? And if you're so passionate about Dire of Wimpy Kid, you should support it. I'm a firm believer of that, right? And me personally, I'm an optimistic guy. I believe in positivity. I'm not trying to say that like, oh, you guys need to look up to me or I, I know what I'm talking about or uh, you guys should take some, uh, you know, word of advice from me. But I, I truly believe it might help, right? I'm a positive guy. I believe in looking at life glass half full. I'm not saying I'm like just freaking um, Confucius or anything, but I just feel like when you wake up with a positive mindset and look for the light instead of the dark, you know, it, life gets a little bit more enjoyable, right? Life's a little bit more enjoyable because things become more bearable and it helps you get through the dark times in your life, right? When you're going through things, when you try and think about, instead of thinking about the stuff you don't have, when you think about the stuff you do have, life tends to be a little bit more enjoyable and you tend to be a little bit more happy, right? And that's what it's all about, right? Being happy, being positive. You know, like Uncle Iroh said, man, from Avatar, you know, we're traveling through a dark tunnel. You keep keep your mind on looking for the light, right? Man, I'm screwing up this quote, but if you're looking for the light, you'll find the light, right? If you're only looking for the dark, that's all you'll ever see is dark, right? So be positive, man. We don't got to tear people down. Think about it, man. This was this man's whole career. He was an up and coming actor. He probably was hype as hell. Like, man, I get to be in a well-established franchise, a lit-ass franchise, big-ass fan base. This is my shot, you know, to really get my foot in the door and really be a well-known household name. I get to play a well-established character, you know, respect to the guy before me, but now I get to, you know, take the torch, take the mantle. This is awesome. I'm hyped. And we might make a trilogy. 
this is cool as this is cool as hell. Like this is cool as fuck, right? And he probably was super hyped. Movie doesn't even come out yet. And y'all already fucking got your pitchforks and your torches. They dropped the picture of the cast. Y'all are all, no, not my Roderick. This movie's gonna suck because he sucks. And why does he suck? Well, because I don't like how he looks. Because I don't like how he looks, that means he's that means he sucks. And since he sucks, this movie's gonna suck. And everything he's involved in is, is gonna suck. Because I don't like how he looks. He doesn't look like this. Or Devin Bostick, right? Like, guys, come on, man. The canon Roderick is a freaking stick figure, man. Like, I'm with y'all want the full-on regular cast to come back. And I get it. It was a pretty good casted show. But was it really well casted? I, they, it was good casted. But, but they could have casted anybody. And we probably would have thought it was well casted. Nobody knew what Greg Hefley would look like human version. Nobody knew what Roderick would look like human version. Nobody knew that. How you put their fucking stick figures? Like, okay, you get a, you get a little mohawk. But what would they really look like? Like, you don't know. Like... You know what I'm saying? Everybody would have their own visualization of what they would look like a human. So they could have casted him the first go around and everybody would be like, imagine if it was the reverse. And this is the first trilogy and they casted him as Roderick. And then Devin Bostick came. He probably would have got the same treatment. Oh, not my Roderick. He doesn't look like the other guy. The guy, he's part Asian. You don't look part Asian, right? Uh, maybe so, right? But you all got to and just think, saying it out loud, I hope you realize how stupid that is. You don't look like a stick figure character, and you don't look like the guy that played the stick figure character. Therefore, I don't support you, and I don't support your movie. And then now we're gonna freaking bully you and target you because you're doing your job? And you took a great opportunity that any one of us on this planet would have took? Like, hell yeah. You offered me to play Roderick? I'm gonna fucking take it. You're damn right. And I get to be in a trilogy? You're damn right I'm gonna fucking take it. I don't care what you fucking think. I don't look like a Roderick. You're Roderick. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna take it, man. Like, Respect to bro, man. Y'all gotta chill out, man. And I say we apologize because I remember I wasn't one of these guys like posted memes and all that shit. Like I'm not gonna get down like that, but I do remember seeing it when I was like back when it came out, which is crazy to think it came out seven years ago, being 17 and thinking, nah, what's going on? Like man, just can this man? This is and I'm just being so closed minded. Like ah, uh, come on, man. He doesn't look like Devin Bostick. Get this out of here, man. This is hilarious. This, man, this franchise, what, what's going on, man? They don't know what they're doing, right? I'm just, you know, but it wasn't that serious for me, but I did kind of was like, what the what the flip, right? I'm pretty sure I was like, hold on, this is, because we're so used to thinking of that esteemed trilogy of Devin Bostick, so when you see somebody else coming here, it's like, what the fuck, right? But it's not that serious, man. Y'all didn't have to attack this man, right? But, and I was younger, but it's still, it was still wrong of me to even think that. And I might have laughed at or a friend showed me a meme, and I was like, oh, that, that's not Roger. What's going on, right? But thinking about it, it's like, that was just dumb. Why does it matter? That was stupid. And for y'all to bully this man and just, I get it, it's weird when you see something different. It throws you off, like, what the fuck? Like, this is weird. Like, I'm not used to this, but it's not that serious, man. Support it, man. It's changed, dog. You know what I'm saying? This guy's was probably hype as hell. Imagine you get a movie role. Imagine you get to play, you're in a Harry Potter reboot, and you get to play Harry Potter. And they drop the cast in Ireland, and everybody's like, oh, fuck this. He doesn't look like Daniel Radcliffe. This movie's gonna suck. This movie, I declare this movie's already shit. Nobody watch it. We're not going to buy no tickets. And then they cancel the rest of the, other, the, the trilogy that you thought was gonna happen. You were hyped, you thought it was gonna be a big, now they canceled it. Now, you know, you're out of a job, all these writers and producers and directors can't, don't have nothing to rely on. And you're sitting there thinking like, man, like, is this kind of my fault? People didn't like me that much? Now everybody's paying the price. Now everybody's out of this awesome project we were working on. Everybody was hyped, everybody was excited. And this is what, I'm mad. you gotta put yourself in this man's shoes. You gotta start putting yourself in people's shoes, man. It's, it's an up and coming actor too. It's not like this guy was already well known, like a Johnny Depp or Leonardo DiCaprio or Will Smith. Like this guy's an up and coming actor trying to make a name for himself, and he gets he finally gets, he gets a big time role, and y'all just y'all know what I'm saying y'all just y'all do this man dirty. He even said in this video the whole trilogy got taken away and he lost work, man. I don't think about how depressing that would be, man. That freaking suck. You know what I mean? He was probably really feeling good, man. Feeling the hype. Like, man, I get to be a part of it. something great here. There's a lot of passion behind it. People love this franchise. He probably liked the franchise. Like, you know what? And he probably tried it. And he said he tried, man. He really wanted to put on something good and put, put something good out for y'all. He wanted to entertain y'all. He wanted to put smiles on your face and on the kid's face. 
But all you, and if you're a parent on your kid's face, you want to, you know, put out a good product, man. And y'all just crapped up. It didn't even give him a chance. And that's, y'all, give the guy a chance, man. Give him a chance. If he came in there and he bombed the movie and it just wasn't, he just looked like he was shooing it in. Okay, whatever. Like, he didn't try. But he tried. He put, I didn't see the movie. But I could tell, man. You could tell the guy tried. You know what I mean? You're you giving him a guy for how he looks? Come on, man. We, we more mature than that. You know, we more mature than that. I'm hope, I'm, I think it was a bunch of kids doing whatever. Kids need to grow up. But for the people that are, y'all should know better, man. And to send them death threats, I'm not even going to touch. Just, that's just wrong. Y'all should, come on, man. If people who send death threats to celebrities for no reason, it's just, that's just stupid. You're just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Charlie, don't ever pay no shit like that. No, like, come on, man. He looks like he's doing good, man. I know you don't need my advice, but that, that's just stupid. Whatever, move on. You're tripping over a cartoon character from a movie over 12 years ago, right? Like, get over it, man. If you're freaking sending death threats over Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I really recommend you find a hobby and find something better to do with your life, man. Because you really must be a lonely and just you just really must have nothing going on in your life at all. You must have nothing going on in your life. You must be amounting to nothing. That is just severely just disappointing and pathetic. If you if you just have just have nothing going on in your life so much to the point that you have to you have time in your day to actually send death threats to a guy who played a cartoon stick figure out of a book. And that, that presses you so much that you can send death threats. Like, get a life, man. Get a hobby. Get a hobby. Get a girlfriend. Do better. Come on, man. The fact that you even have time to do that, do better. You know? And I'll send my apologies, man, to Charlie Wright because I could have reacted better. I didn't post anything. I didn't feed it. I wasn't a part of this hashtag, not my writer. I wasn't doing all that. But I remember probably seeing it, like, you know, and even just doing that, just being like, oh, what the heck is this? This isn't Devin Bostick. Like, whatever they doing. Like, that's part of the problem, man. And that was wrong, right? You know, and I can look back in hindsight, but, you know, that was just stupid, right? And then when you see these guys' perspective and actually put yourself in these shoes, you're like, man, that was really wrong, right? So, you know, God bless that man, Charlie Wright. God bless him. We all owe this man an apology. I apologize, sir. Respect to you, man. You know, hope, you know, I wish you the best on all your future endeavors. You know, you get everything you wish for, man. God bless you, brother. Because um, that was, come on now, y'all. We got to do better, man. You know? But thank y'all for watching, man. I just thought I got that off my mind, and uh, y'all have a blessed one. Peace.